Here in the U.S., a common disease appears to be much more common than first thought. About 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported each year. The Centers for Disease Control now say the real number of cases is more like 300,000. Lyme disease, which is spread by deer ticks, is the most common tick-borne disease in the country. So joining us now is Dr. Doris Day, dermatologist at Lenox Hill Hospital here in New York City. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So we were talking a little bit before we started this interview and you said this is a really big deal. This is a very big deal and I, I think the, the problem is you can throw out the number 300,000 and it sounds like it's a lot but I think we're still missing so many cases and people are ending up with chronic Lyme disease and the consequences of that and they don't even know it. So why is Lyme disease so underdiagnosed? It's a very difficult disease to diagnose many times. What happens is that the condition can be very nonspecific. Only half of the people who have Lyme disease have that classic rash that would come to the dermatologist. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a level of suspicion. Most people don't see the Lyme tick or it may not be on them for that long. Now we say it's about 72 hours for optimal transmission of the, of the infection, mm -hmm. but it could be just one or two hours. So the tick may be removed, it may fall off for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And also in some states, I've had patients come in and they said I was in Florida or in another state and I went to the doctor with symptoms like Lyme disease and I asked about it and they said oh we don't have Lyme disease in this state. So in states where it's not reported to the CDC many doctors will say you can't have that here mm -hmm. and it's in every state because it's carried by birds and it goes across the country and so now every state all year round you can get Lyme disease. You may just have a change in mental status, like a headache or a fever. Okay. You may have sinusitis, not a classic symptom yeah. of, of Lyme that we see, and certainly sometimes you don't have the rash. So the doctor and the patient both have to have a level of suspicion. Now, when you get the labs, the labs are often negative or unreliable, so you can't treat based on the labs. If you've had an antibiotic, that'll throw the lab off. Really? So you, you really have to treat based on the person, mm -hmm. a level of suspicion, and their symptoms. So if somebody comes in and they're, you know, maybe they've got a bit of a headache, they said, hey, I was out in the woods, they really feel like they might have been exposed, what is it that you're looking for as a dermatologist to, to sort of guarantee that, yeah, this is probably Lyme disease because we can't trust the labs either? Right, so one is the possible possibility of exposure. They don't even have to be out in the woods. They could be walking through grass. Mm -hmm. They may have a pet who was out walking in the woods mm -hmm. and so they can get it that way. So you really have to be a little bit of a medical detective and ask the question. And then if you're in doubt, I always check titers because I think it's worth it. But the day that I send for the titers, I also start the Wait, doxycycline. Say that again, what's the titers? So titers is a blood test okay. that will look at the different parameters that will give you a sign of if they have Lyme disease or not. But if you check it too soon, they won't. But by the time you have a headache, chances are you're at least a week out. Okay. And then the, the, the labs will come back positive. And sometimes there's different bands or it depends on the lab that did the test. Some may be more reliable than others. Mm -hmm. So I still will treat based on my level of suspicion. And if I'm really not sure if the rash is not typical, I'll do a biopsy and sometimes that will help me as well. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you do have to kind of search for it. I had somebody who only had sinusitis and it turned out that was Lyme disease. Interesting. Well, the, you know, when I heard about the study, I thought, geez, there might be people who, you know, think they're su suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome yeah. or, you know, something else and don't realize. It can affect your heart. It can affect your joints. Mm -hmm. It can affect your, your, just your whole energy level. Mm -hmm. And because in and of themselves, those are so nonspecific, that could be part of anything. Yeah. It often gets put into other conditions and kind of tossed aside because the time passes and then you think, well, it can't be Lyme anymore. It's just not in the, in right. the differential. So what is the treatment for Lyme disease? Typically we use doxycycline, mm -hmm. which is an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. Now there, that's another problem as well because many people will say it's only a few days or a few pills or a week, but that's just based on one study. If somebody, depending on their symptoms, the way that you really need to treat is based on their symptoms and treat until they're clear. So for some people it could be two weeks, three weeks, a month, two months, it's gone even three or six months. And now we also know that those same ticks carry other bugs. Right. So you can get babesiosis or ehrlichiosis, other conditions from Anything that same that tick. is not good, <laughs> doctor. No, exactly. Yeah. So those need to be checked as well for both symptoms and treatments. And you really need a doctor who's vigilant. There are Lyme experts and as dermatologists we do see it. We have that level of suspicion about it. But it is important to also 
as a patient, be your own advocate and think about Lyme disease. And if those symptoms don't seem right and you can kind right. of put it all together in yourself or in your child or even in your pet. Right. Push and your then doctor to find be out, smart right? about protecting. You can spray your property. Right. You can get um, tick baths and collars for your pets right. and also check every day from head to toe because it can be even in the scalp. So if you have dark hair, you can miss it, Very but good. do a really good check. Dr. Doris Day, thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us.